Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on Fetch. Wanted to give you my thoughts, wanted to do a full update. It's uh, It's been a while since I covered Fetch uh, and I, I thought that would be no greater timing than this morning, all right? Because we saw earlier this morning, it's still very it's still very premature, all right? So, so there's not much going on. Uh, but earlier this morning, what we saw is some momentum for AI coins, all right? So you can see that right here. AI coins like WorldCoin, Ajax, Render, Fetch, Ocean became relatively bullish. Um, they're still just in general, like the AI narrative hasn't uh, popped off in, in some time. And I this could be the start of it, but I don't think that's confirmed yet. All right, because what you see is that we did saw some see some momentum earlier this morning, uh, but we're also still very correlated and very dependent on Bitcoin. All right, Bitcoin dominance right now is still very, very high. Um, so I, I think there are, are, are I think there's potential for AI, AI coins. For example, if you look at Render, that already had a significant breakout. Ajax also had a significant breakout, and what you see right now is that Fetch is kind of is kind of lagging behind. All right, you can see that we found some strong support at 1.85 earlier last week, and then obviously when the market gained some more momentum, Fetch also got some some bullish moves. But Fetch in general. And, uh, and, and who knows what's causing that? I mean, maybe it's actually because of the merger, all right? Because of the merger between Ajax, Fetch, and Ocean. Uh, because what that does imply is that it's not that, uh, not that interesting or not that um, attractive, I think, to, uh, to really trade Fetch and Ajax, etc. for longer periods, periods of time. Now, do I think that's necessary, necessarily a problem? No, because we have seen uh, until yesterday morning, we've seen some nice spot buys coming in for, coming in for Fetch. Um, but the fact that trading it is a little bit less attractive right now because, and the simple fact is, is that if they get merged into one token, all the positions you have in, in leverage trading on these coins will be closed. Uh, but that's also not the end of the world. I mean, right now, I, I do think we have a good chance to be bullish, but technically we are not bullish yet. Right. If you look at, for example, I'll, I'll put this on the chart here. If you look at the CVD, for example, we saw some positive, move, po positive moves earlier this morning. So there's definitely momentum. But if you look at the technicals, there's still a significant resistance level right here at 2.35. So we're still below that. So technically, we're still bearish. So the main question is, is can we break above that? And the answer to that, I do think is yes. All right. If you look at Fetch right now, you see the spot buying. You saw the, the momentum that the AI narrative got earlier this morning. I do think there's a good chance that this is the start of some sort of a new AI narrative, uh, or at least for the AI narrative to pop off again. Uh, NVIDIA earnings are later this month, so that could be a fundamental event that we could work towards. Um, but it is still dependent on Bitcoin. All right, I think it's most likely that Bitcoin will stay bullish. And that's also why I think the AI narrative has a chance to pop off here. And that's also why I think it's most likely that eventually Fetch will break above 2.35, will rally back up to 2.55 and probably higher. That's what I think is most likely. But on the short term, because it's Sunday, because Bitcoin has some strong resistance here, I think it's more likely we'll just kind of consolidate here until we get that momentum from Bitcoin. And if we get that momentum, then we'll break out and then everything is good. But for now, I would still wait for some, some, some more confirmation, all right, in general. Uh, but those are my thoughts. There's a little bit of a short video, but there's not, not, nothing, nothing more I want to say about this. So if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.